March Madness fans, all 14 teams in the SEC will be participating in this year's SEC Conference Tournament. Things are a little bit different in the SEC this year, to say the least, with Auburn and Tennessee at the top, and then Florida, Kentucky in the number three and number four positions. It may not matter for the Wildcats, who have won this tournament three straight times, and five of the last eight. The Wildcats lost the championship game in 2012 and 2014. The field is set for the conference tournament, which begins March 7th at the Scott Trade Center in St. Louis, Missouri. This is also a big change for the league this season after three straight years in Nashville, where there is a different fan base. We'll have to see how this goes at the site of the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament, which is traditionally known as an under arena. The bottom four seeds will play in the first round on Wednesday with seeds five through 10 in action for the first time on Thursday. The top four seeds get buys into the quarterfinals. Like most deep conference tournaments, this one has sessions for the second round and quarterfinals, so you'll want to watch those scheduling situations as we move through this tournament. There are eight teams with 20 wins in the SEC, but not all of them are in. Right now, Mississippi State is on the outside looking in per most projections. Alabama only has 17 wins, but it's funny what elite players do when it comes to the tournament, as the Crimson Tide and Colin Sexton are ticketed for the big dance. The other seven with 20 plus wins are in right now, which would make the SEC the second most represented conference behind the ACC. The SEC is much deeper than it has been in past seasons. We've seen some upsets in this conference before, but the top seeds tend to stand out when we get to the semifinals and the finals. There are definitely some interesting betting opportunities here, with seven of the league's 14 teams ranked in the top 40. In looking at the overall picture, there are four teams to focus on, Tennessee, Kentucky, Florida, and Texas A&M. Those are the four best defensive teams in this league, and Scott Trade Center has played as an under venue in conference tournament play for the Missouri Valley Conference in the past. The offenses in the SEC are far more talented than those in the MVC, but we'll need to see some data that disputes the low scoring trends in this arena before we can discredit it. This is also going to be a different kind of tournament without the backdrop of Nashville. Fan bases for these two schools are less likely to make the trek, even Columbia, Missouri is a two hour drive. Teams may have to bring their own excitement, especially in the early rounds. Rick Barnes and Tennessee haven't been tested much lately. Kentucky has gotten the defense going, but ran into a very good Florida team in the regular season finale, and Texas A&M has to play an extra game. In all honesty, with a tournament like this, that has a lot of high upside and high floor teams, there are not many bad ways to bet futures, so long as you pick a team or two and ride with them. Florida and Tennessee would have brutal turnarounds to play late games on Friday and then play at 2.30 p.m. Central Time on Saturday in the semifinals, so that may be a little bit of a deterrent there. As a result, we'll see our preferences on Texas A&M and Kentucky, but a Gators and Volunteers semifinal is very likely, and you will see one of those teams in the finals.